Are you annoyed every time you turn on your Windows 11 computer because apps and programs are automatically popping up on your screen and they're kind of in the way? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to disable startup programs in Windows 11. We're gonna do this in the Windows 11 settings. It's really quite simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive right over to my Windows 11 desktop and show you how to disable your startup programs. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop and I have a few programs that loaded up automatically when I started up my computer. I've got Steam here, I'll just shut that down. I've got Spotify as well as the Xbox app here. We're gonna shut those down. Now in order to stop these programs from loading up automatically and other programs as well, we need to get into the settings here in Windows 11. So the first thing we need to do is go down to our start menu here at the bottom, it's the logo of the Windows icon. When you hover over it, it says start. You can left click on that with your mouse. It's gonna bring up your start menu for you. And we're looking to get into our settings here. So I happen to have this settings icon right here. It's a gear or a sprocket in my pin section. If you're not seeing that, you might have to go into all your apps. So if you do see that, just go ahead and left click on settings. Otherwise go to all apps right above it here. Left click on that. And you can scroll all the way down to the letter S here, where you're gonna see the settings option. You can go ahead and left click on settings. That's gonna load up your Windows 11 settings. From there over on the left hand side, you'll see a whole bunch of different options. It says system, Bluetooth and devices, network and internet. And the option we're looking for today is right here. It says apps. Go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna load up all your app settings. So there's a whole bunch of different options here as well. And the one we're looking for for myself is at the very bottom here. It says startup apps that start up automatically when you sign in. So let's go ahead and left click on that option. That's gonna load up a list of apps that you can toggle on and off for startup. Now, one thing I should mention is make sure you're not turning off programs that you might need for your system to run properly. For example, there's some in here from Logitech for my keyboard and mouse. There's ones in here for my audio, as well as there's Windows security here. So I do wanna make sure that I'm not turning off any virus protection or different things like that that I want for my system. Now let's quickly go through here and show you how this works. You'll find the program, for example, Cortana's here. That's turned on. I can easily just click the toggle switch and it'll turn that off. I've got Google Chrome. Maybe I wanna leave that one on. I've got my Logitech ones here. You can also turn on programs here. So for example, maybe I need OneDrive and Microsoft Teams for work. I can go ahead and toggle those on and those will load up on startup now. I've got my audio one here, there's Skype, there's Spotify. That's one of the ones that I wanted to turn off from the very beginning. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. I've got Steam, I'm gonna turn that off as well as here's the Windows security. I'm gonna leave that one on, but there's the Xbox app and services right there. I'm gonna turn that one off. Now, as well, when you load new programs on your computers, they may likely show up in here. So you'll wanna come in here every once in a while and make sure that this is just how you like it for your system to run properly. And it's really that simple to disable startup programs here in the settings in Windows 11. So I hope this Windows 11 tutorial gave you value in learning how to turn off startup programs here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Remember to subscribe here on YouTube and ding the bell notification so you're notified of upcoming videos. It's totally free. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.